chestnut bray pork, the sweetest pork you will ever taste. And that's because it's fed on these things, chestnuts. No, the pigs don't climb the trees to eat the chestnuts. And two, yes, it is a bit of a long story, but luckily, I'm sharing my dinner tonight with my hosts here at Chestnut Bray Farmstay. And the great news, you don't have to be a kid to enjoy this adventure. Which began as a result of this couple's ambitious efforts to turn their chestnut farm into something a little unique and then some. Prepare to leave Destination WA. Almost. Yeah. You know, in Europe, <laughs> you came through the gate, it's European trees and it's a thousand sweet chestnut trees, which are from Southern Europe through Italy, Greece, Spain and France. France. How did the uh, pigs end up here then? We went to Europe to find out what to do with chestnuts and learnt that the best prosciutto in the world comes from Parma, where they feed the pigs whey from the Parmigiana factory and chestnuts. And the best ham in the world comes from Spain, where they feed the pigs acorns and chestnuts. So we thought, we've got chestnuts, let's get some pigs. The result is a meat so sweet, it's in demand by the top chefs around the nation. And if you stay here, you can buy some at the farm gate and cook it on the barbecue. Back to that European tree experience, which includes guided tours. We have two orchards comprising 200 trees in one and 800 in another. They're mature trees now, they're 40 years old, so it's like a European forest. And this European ambience extends to the garden surrounding the farmstead. When to see them all at their best? Well, you may have to visit a few times. So one of the best times for me is the autumn, because there's a lot of autumn colour. So going back to that European autumn colour experience, and then the whole garden's in flower in spring. So we have very strong four-season environment here. In fact, the Stanleys run tours of all aspects of the property and its operation. And it's the only chance you'll get to see something like this here in WA. When these chestnuts mature in autumn, you can come and pick your own. In the meantime, you can always visit the farm gate for a feed. We sell chestnut-fed pork and chestnut flour and chestnut puree and quite a few chestnut products. Do you get sick of chestnuts? Oh, no, no. It's one of the few products you can have a whole meal with. So you've got chestnut ale, you've got, you could do chestnut soup to start yeah. with, you could chestnut-fed pork, chestnut ice cream. No, you can do, do so many things with chestnut. Lucky we are staying the night, and the farm stay is quaint, it's quirky, it has a fabulous view, and it was actually the original farmhouse. And at the end of the day, that cottage is the perfect place to just relax and watch life on the farm go by. Perhaps enjoy a cheeky wine or two from one of the neighbouring vineyards. A couple of these, fresh from the farm. Pretty good. 